In this course, we're going to take a basic survival game like this one I have here. And in this survival game, we have the ability to chop down trees and pick things up. But we don't have any user interface where we can see uh, what we've picked up and use those items that we're picking up to craft items. So we're going to convert this into something like this, where we have uh, a user inventory along the top, which we can expand by pressing the inventory key. And when we actually pick up items, we see that they appear in our inventory. And we can expand the inventory and move items around in the inventory. Like so. And if we pick up another item, we can see that our quantity goes up to two. And in this top bar, we can use the scroll wheel to select the item that we're holding in our hand. And if we mine some stone, we can pick up that stone. And as you can see, that also appears in our inventory. And we can hold it in our hand like so. And then we can hit the C key to bring up a crafting menu. And we can scroll through that with our mouse wheel as well. And then if we select our pickaxe, we can press the E key to build ourselves, craft ourselves a pickaxe. And as you can see, because we used um, two wood and one stone to create that pickaxe, it removed the wood and one stone from our inventory. And then we can pick up this pickaxe like so. We can close the crafting menu with C. And then we can scroll and select our pickaxe. And again, if we go to this bush and we forage in the bush, we can pick up these strawberries. They appear in our inventory. And we can expand our inventory and move our items around the inventory, like so. So if you have an existing game and you're not entirely sure how to add an inventory system or to ha add these kind of UI elements to that game, then I feel this uh, course will be of great help to you. I would recommend that you already know a little bit of JavaScript, uh, maybe a little bit of Phaser, if you want to know how to create this particular survival game from scratch. I also have a course on how to do that. Um, but for this course, uh, you will start off with um, the code for the non-UI version of the game, which is this version here. So you'll start off with all this code, and then we will go through the process of adding all the features that are needed to get to this version of the game where we have a workable inventory system and crafting system.